A death sentence recommended for a man convicted of killing a NASA retiree. The same jury that convicted Warren Hardy said she, he should die for his crimes. Way 31's Nicole Zedek has been at the Madison County Courthouse all day awaiting the jury's recommendation. Nicole, what was it like in there today? It was a long day as friends and family members of Kathleen Lundy waited on pins and needles outside of the courtroom as those jurors deliberated from 8 a.m. this morning until 12.30, never leaving the room. And once we were finally allowed inside, they read their recommendation to the judge. And as they read that death penalty recommendation, I watched those family members hug each other right there in their seats, feeling grateful that this case is finally coming to an end. It's been a long road. You know, it's, it's been five and a half years since this happened. More than five years since Warren Hardy shot and killed NASA retiree Kathleen Lundy in order to steal her car and chase after his ex-girlfriend. Really what he did uh, to Miss Lundy without any cause, without any, she is not even related to this case and how what he did to her and how he left her there uh, is absolutely deserving of the death penalty. The majority of jurors agreed with the prosecution, recommending the death penalty in an 11 to 1 vote. Well, you're always disappointed when the recommendation doesn't go the way that you're, you know, hoping that it will. Hardy didn't show much emotion as the recommendation was read. I believe Mr. Hardy has been preparing himself either way. As all sides get ready to finally close this tragic case. In a case like this, nobody's happy. This is not a happy time. But I do think at the end of the day, there is something satisfying when, when justice is served. Now, this was just the jury's recommendation, and ultimately, it's up to Judge Comer to give the final sentence. I'll have more on what to expect leading up to the sentencing hearing coming up on Way 31 News at 5. Reporting live in Huntsville, Nicole Zedek, Way 31 News.